I used to buy lunch every day for 300 bob. So it was simply saying, from now on, pack lunch from home and then I'll go on holiday. And Janet, I have traveled the world on that principle. When people buy an orange, they look at the outside. Yeah, so when we go and we see these nice, bright, imported orange oranges, so we buy them because that tells us they are juicy or that's what we think. Then we ignore these other ones where the outside may not be that good. But life has become about that. And especially when we talk about money, people are so concerned with the outside mm -hmm. to the detriment of the inside. Because some of these oranges can look really good, but inside they are rotten. Yeah. So with money, because we're talking about money today, what do people want? They want to show. Yeah. I've got it. I have it under control. Mm. I'm driving the right car. I'm living the life. I'm living the life. Yeah. My kids are going to the right school. Oh, so and so has done, has gotten this phone. I must stop them. So we are so concerned with what do other people think and see about us. Mm. But what's happening inside? We are falling apart. We really are. We are in debt that yeah. we cannot manage. We are trying to do so much. You know, I, I talk a lot to women. We're trying to support everybody. The, all the black tax in the world, yeah. anybody who can claim anything is claiming and you're giving because that's, that's what you think you should be doing. So we've got to start asking ourselves what's in the inside. Having done this for 15 years, I can, and I'm just, it could be four or five times I've had moments where there's intense noise about costs going up. Sometimes it's been after election. Sometimes it's just the fuel prices went went up, sometimes because of prolonged drought that we have had several times in those 15 years that people are complaining about costs. Yes, every time you can identify and say a unique situation. Now, you know, at this time people are talking about how dollar went up, so which affected the prices. Yes, we didn't, we've not seen the dollar go up this much in a long time. But the concept of prices going up is not a surprise. School fees will go up. Fuel will go up. They, they generally don't come down. If you look at the last 15 years, generally prices, rent. the rent yeah. goes up. Yeah. If you want to make some invest, the stock market generally over the long term goes up. Yeah. So the concept of prices going up is not something we should complain about, but it's okay to say, okay, they've gone up in a way that I had not expected. What do I do about it? And it's understanding there will be a peak, there will be a down. So when you're at your peak, don't live life assuming it is forever. Oh, that's a good one. And the first thing that helped me, even when I started business, is the concept of an emergency fund, which is one day something will happen that you cannot anticipate. Mm -hmm. So if I have money set aside and everybody listening to this, th start with aiming for three months of your living expenses set aside. And by living expenses, I do not mean your bill at the bar. I mean <laughs> rent, yeah, household goods, household goods, yeah. school fees, your necessities. How I take myself from home to work. Those are the necessities. Everyone's situation is different, but what's kind of first off thing that we need to think through in okay. terms of trying to adjust to? Okay, yeah. all right. You know, I, I, I talked about essential expenses. Start thinking, because a lot of people I'm talking to, you realize, first of all, where they're really affected is where you know, the nice things that they have in their life, the mm -hmm. comforts. And I think that's where we've been really shaken up. I used to go to the restaurant every week or every two weeks for lunch. It's, I can't do that anymore. I know people listening to this have never thought about spending, how they're spending money on lunch. So where you are buying lunch every day has gone up. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to think those kind of expenses, where do you adjust? Or if you actually cannot afford it, don't do it. Because if your expenses are over your income, there's no magic formula about this. Cut your expenses. Significance. Because mm. when you... Also deal with money from a point of, it's not just about me. Something tells me, it tends to drive you forward. Yes, yeah, it does. It tends to push you. The purpose. The purpose, yeah. People can scream about all the economy as they want, but me, I know I have to pay salary. So I'm not going to wallow in it. I'm, yeah. I'm going to actually move forward. 